Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride Television. Tonight, we're off to world-famous Gibsonton Riverview, Florida, and join the thousands of bikers that came to enjoy Gib Town Bike Week, put on by the International Independent Showman's Association. This four-day extravaganza is billed as Florida's most entertaining bike event, and they mean it. High-wire tightrope walkers, 22 live bands, the globe of death, hundreds of vendors, parties, two first-class bike shows, and BWI Professional Wrestling were just some of the entertainment venues that Gibtown Bike Week showcased during this premier event. So don't touch that remote. A trip to Gibtown, Florida, and its world-famous Bike Week is headed your way right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Hey, everybody, I'm Eric Estrada. Chips guy, you're watching Born to Ride TV. Enjoy. Hey, Dave, the Flashman Morgan at my favorite event of the year, and it's cool yeah. because because you get to do it. It's like NASCAR. It's at the beginning of the year. I love it. Hanging out with Ron Lane, uh, coordinator here. I mean, pretty much the go-to guy for anything that's got to do with the Gibtown Bike Fest, man. How about it this year? Oh, it's been a great year. We've got more vendors, and we've got more everything. We've got good entertainment, and the weather finally is really good today. Oh, right? my goodness. It's, it's unbelievable. Good. It's, it's unbelievable. Good. So, man, I look around. Always something. There's like something going on in every square inch of this place, man. What do we got happening in entertainment for the rest of the day? Well, you know, we found out that if, uh, you know, and I've known this, if you want people to come out and hang out, you got to entertain them. We are Florida's most entertaining bike event. And now my goal is to become Florida's most premier bike event. That's the next goal. You're there in but my what, book, buddy. Well, thank you. But what we got going on, we got like 22 bands. And coming up tonight, like right now, we've got uh, Southbound going on at 6 o'clock. It's 3 now. We got uh, Hollywood and Broken Note over here by the beer garden. We got uh, Randy McDilly Band out here in our gazebo bar on the river. And uh, then at 10 o'clock, we got uh, Confederate Railroad coming on. And then when they're done, we got uh, Blackwater Jack filling in later on and taking us on out to the evening. So, so it we, sounds like we might be here kind of late tonight, Ron Lane. It's going to be a late, every night's a late night. You know? <laughs> yeah. If you're not ready to stay up, you know, and spend a lot of hours, yeah, you just can't make it here. You know, we, we get done at 3 o'clock in the morning. We're back here at 7.30 getting ready for a 10 o'clock opening, and we love it. We got shows, too. You know, we're standing right in front of the DWI Professional Wrestling, and right over here we've got Victoria Circus Axe. We've got a high wire, and it's amazing. You know, this uh, Tony, he's 11 years old. He and his dad does the high wire, and then uh, Vicky and their son Alex, who is 13, uh, they ride in the Globe of Death, and they do a comedy trampoline act that's kind of kid-oriented, but people told me that, that it was really funny. Even the old people love it. You know, kids of all ages, I guess that's what it's for. That and is. It's food. unbelievable. Food. Did you see the food? Oh, I've had some of them. I've been sampling the food. I've been hanging out with our girl over there. You know, oh, she's been yeah. feeding me today. Yeah, yeah, she takes good care so of So I couldn't help notice there was a lot of campers across the street, too. I mean, what are you charging for, uh, for camping these days? It's free. We well, hang on, man. Did you say free? Free. Wow. Entrance is free, nothing to get in. The only thing you do, you pay for your food and you pay for your beer, and we hope you buy an event shirt, which is this one right How there. about that? Look at the size of that thing right there. Now, tell me about these uh, the VIP bands. I mean, you can get in there and pretty much just pay one price and be set for the weekend, right? VIP, that's the way to go. For $100, you can get all the beer you want for, for four days. That's all the draft beer, and that's from the opening until we're done at night. And plus, you get along with it on Saturday and Sunday, you get food. They brought lunch out to us. They have a couple of kinds of chicken wings. Just, I mean, a big spread. Hey, listen, being that it's Debbie Galletti's birthday, it seems like a pretty good deal to me. What do you think? I think it's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Debbie. That's it. That's it. Well, Ron, man, I know you got things to do. I'm going to let you get out of here. So, man, congratulations on another well, great and successful much. year, buddy. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you guys because Born to Ride, they really have gone the extra mile. I mean, the ads in the book are fantastic. The front cover, we got Danny uh, on there from Confederate Railroad. We got, uh, you know, some of the stuff that we've had here in the past and the Globe on there, the inside stories and all that. They do an outstanding job. They go the extra mile, and they have helped us grow in the last two years by a bunch. We appreciate it. We appreciate you, buddy. There you go. More on Born to Ride TV coming right up. Don't move.
I'll tell you right now, people, we are out here at the annual Gibtown Bike Festival. This place is popping this year. I don't think I've ever seen it in all the years that I've been out here. We usually come out here, we broadcast uh, live over the internet and all over the uh, Born to Ride multimedia. And if you just take a look around, my goodness, we'll just walk through this place. Unbelievable the amount of people that are in here. We're heading over to, uh, to see our boy Reverend Jim. Because I understand uh, Reverend Jim has got, uh, has got some stuff going on where he's going to be on the national TV level. Yeah, he made, he's made cable TV. It's unbelievable. As a matter of fact, just look at the guy right here. This guy, you can just tell that he is, he is somebody of importance right here. Let's see if we can butt in and, uh, and get a word with, uh, and get a good with a good Reverend Jim. Reverend Jim's in the house. Yes, don't, hey, man, don't, hey, don't mean to interrupt you. Color. So I understand uh, that you've actually made cable TV now. You're, uh, you're, uh, you're big pimping, as they say. <laughs> I don't know about pimping. We, we haven't gotten any of the women yet, but we're building bikes, man. Yeah, man. So tell me a little bit about what's going on with you, man. Lots of moving and shaking. Of course, we, all, we expect that from you. Yeah, yeah, all the time. I'm Reverend Jim, man. What do you expect, right? <laughs> I mean, we're doing, uh, we built this bike here for Cafe Racer TV. You'll see it in April. It'll be on, uh, they gave us five episodes. We uh, built the bike out of a motor that I had for a while. In uh, March, we'll be doing some stuff over at the Cabbage Patch, the world's largest trophy. So where uh, where is this show going to be airing? What channel? It's going to be on, uh, if you're Bright House, it's 1235. It's Cafe Racer TV, and it's on the Velocity side of Discovery. So uh, you'll see it the whole month of April, and you'll love it, man. Very nice. He's a mover. He's a shaker. Reverend Jim right here from Preachers getting it done on Born to Ride TV, live from the Gibtown Bike Festival. Uh, got a little something, uh, Debbie Galetti's birthday. She's 39 again, I can't believe how she does that. But uh, you guys got something a little special for her? Yes, we do. We thought it was her 29th though, so we got her a little something special. You know. I think I'm in trouble. I might be in trouble now, I'm just saying. So what'd you get? I thought it was 21st. <laughs> Reverend Jim thought it was 21. We gotta stop nah, drinking, yeah, we gotta stop. I'm just telling you right now. So what'd we do? What did we get her? We got her a birthday cake and a card. Alright, so here we go. We're rolling out to the uh, the Born to Ride van where Debbie is always slaving, selling the shirts. Doing the thing, signing people up for the old school bike show today here at the uh, Gibtown Bike Fest. So here we go. Hi, Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Debbie Galetti. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday to you. Well, thank you very much. I'm having a good time at Gibtown Bike Fest. Hey, I spent my birthday here last year and had the best time, so why not do it again this year? Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Ron Lane, for playing this around my birthday. We love Ron Lane, too. Oh, love us on Ron Lane. Paints well, happy birthday. Paula, Paints by Paula picked me out a chocolate cake, my favorite. Oh. Town Bike Week here with Born to Ride TV, and we're always out searching for the VIPs, you know, the people that make the bike events happen. Fran Hodge, of course, won, and the man with a master plan, who I always search out because he's always got cool stuff to give away, and he's got the great chairs to sit in if you just want to kick your heels up for a little bit. Well, right. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Hey, guys, it's been a great event, man. We've been out here for three days. Uh, they've had some fantastic bands. They've got hundreds of vendors out here, guys. It's a beautiful establishment right on the river. You can't beat it. What a great showman's palace they have here. Bringing all the big wigs out here. Look at that. Fran Hosh in the house. My attorney should be yours too. Yeah, she is, absolutely. You know, if you guys need her, she's here. 1866 Law Fran.
sleeper. He's in the sleeper. He's fighting back. Oh, he's fighting back. Threesomes. I guess after we beat your boys, you're coming over us. <laughs> it's nothing but a good time. 